All right, we're live. Hi, dude. Hello, everybody. Hi. I'm going to adjust this. I'm not used to this being so high because I took the pillow out from under my butt so I could be a normal boy. Did you know you can get things for your couch? What? That they're like long, flat things, and they're like segmented, but you put them under the cushions and it solves the sinky couch. Yeah, except these cushions aren't removable. <laughs> oh, never mind. Yep. <laughs> Uh, what a stupid couch. I you can't even make a fort with this couch. I'm saying. Uh, so this couch um, is mine. Uh, yes. You can't have it. Uh, but really, this couch was given to me for free by my friend Lisa, who's getting rid of it. So I accepted it oh, sure. I mean, free unconditionally yeah. because it was free. And truthfully, I've never bought a couch. I have bought shitty futons. And I've given, I've you've, been giving couches. You've received couches. I, I had Mike's old couch, which, I, I, in a drunken frenzy, I, I will just, say, I sat down, slammed on it, b- busted into a trillion pieces. <laughs> I sat down, just destroyed it, and um, to be fair, it was made of cardboard. It was, I mean, it's an, Ike, it was an IKEA couch, um, but I rebuilt the leg. Measurement for <laughs> measurement with a two by four. Two by fours. It, it was great. It worked amazing. No cushion. Twenty dollar fix for a couch. Just yeah. Twenty dollars to and, fix it. And fashionable too. I put a blanket over it, <laughs> so you didn't even know. So you didn't know until you clonked your head on it trying to lay down. Well, you lay on the other one. <laughs> you didn't know though. Yeah. Well, what are you doing in my house laying on my couch? Let's kick, some shell. kick shell. What the shell? <laughs> I know. Uh, I know somebody here. I know of a I special know. birthday boy. <laughs> Who wanted to play? Uh, call in if you want us to announce your birthday. <laughs> Stop. Hi, Teach yeah. us how to play, though. Maybe this is why we're just discovering moves. Like hold. Oh, I thought it was telling me to hold the D-pad. It's telling me to hold this. I I thought that too. Uh, once. All right. Once. Once. Do, 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 do. Yeah, once. Okay, let's see if a uh, single birthday boy will want to <laughs> come in here and play. I fell asleep. There's no way. He's taking a nap. You gotta take naps or else you get cranky. Fussy. He was so excited. Start fussing. Bussing. Bussing? Now, I, there's like nobody in the chat. I gotta make sure that like we're live. That would be... What a blunder. It would be a, a pretty big blunder. Yeah, we're live. Where are you? Where are you all at? Where are you? Tell us in the chat. <laughs> like, comment, subscribe. Please. Every, everyone, Please. If you, if you want to know where you're at, just subscribe. We just, we want to have you leave, here. Leave a comment below. Do you want the, the drink? No. Slammer? I don't think this one would fit. Look at this old, old style. You don't think it'd fit? I think it would fit. The classic. The classic Frost Buddy? I have the Chinese knockoff of the classic Frost Buddy. Yeah, but they're all like. Yeah, same. It's the exact same, exact same, same shape. Um, I promise you that whoever factory they contracted with is like, oh, no, we'll make it for you. And then. Yeah. <laughs> all right, let's right, let's see if there's two people online. What do we got going on here? Ooh, Somebody Oh, somebody's playing oh, Civ somebody's playing Civ six. 6. Civ 6 is not Turtles, Grunart Malk. Yeah. Can you, can you send an invite? I should. Yes, I think I can. That's not That's not That's, that's I don't I don't want to do that. Best friends. friends. TD Jones. T.D. Jones is not online. I'm not friends with T.D. Jones. That's... I don't know. I gotta add T.D. Jones. What if I invite him again? I gotta add that. I'll invite him again. I cannot get a handle on your basement's temperature. It's all over the place. Because... It's all over the place. I thought like, oh, it's kind of chilly in here still in the summer. But no, it's... No, it's it's not. I agree. And the winter, it's warm down here. 
It's all over the place. And then the day, the first day that it was warm enough it to wear should, shorts, I wore shorts, and I was like, oh, it's cold down here. It should be better than it is. So I was like, not. I'm going to wear pants and a thin hoodie. And it should warm. be better than it is, but it's not. And I don't well, know how to... you got to lock it down, man. I, this is... I have one thermostat, like you everybody else does. Fix it. The, the, it doesn't even take into it's account probably the all these dang incandescent bulbs. I don't have zone. There's no incandescent you gotta bulbs. Switch down to here. LED, my these dude. These are all LEDs. I'm telling you, these are like 100 watt <laughs> bulbs. These are heat lamps. These are exclusively I like, LEDs. I like the warm orange glow of a heat lamp bulb. So that's what <laughs> I put all over my house. I, I went through and changed every bulb in this house to LED. Nice. Beca- because. They were all CFLs. I don't need CFLs. Nobody needs those. What a what a blip. In yeah, it was the like it was like a, a seven year period where they're like, well, we're done with these, and then everyone's like, these aren't yeah, these aren't really that great. I love these these aren't fantastic. I like the way they like flicker on. Yeah. After a few seconds, uh, they get brighter as you go. I remember when LED bulbs first came out. They were these like giant things. With all the like ring of LEDs. Oh yeah, and they cost like a hundred dollars. Oh, they're so expensive. All right, you think we should just play because Gurner Malk is fucking around? <laughs> no, no. When you're done, we'll do it when you're done. There we go. I'm way closer to the mic now. I just have to shift a little bit to the left. <laughs> no! <laughs> this is the <laughs> this is literally the worst thing to ever happen to me. Guess I'll be Leonardo. I'm keeping it too. I'm not switching. This is the worst. <laughs> I saw my moment. I saw my opportunity and I grabbed it. <laughs> well, we're going to to the the realm. I know. I know. Yeah, for real. You gotta switch, Caitlin Brian. You <laughs> you can come Brian. you can come play. It's Brian. You can skip. Uh, we want to skip. We just want to start the game because uh, we're not waiting for Grunart Malk. Grunart Malk. No, I'm here. But Grunart Malk is here. Oh, Wait for me. oh look too late. Who's here. Well, well. Uh, I think you can still join. Yeah, I think you can still join. I invite if you accept the invite. Oh, being the hotel yeah, is great. I have to get out of. You got that range. Uh, all right. Oh, Malk invites. Oh, dang. Oh, that, uh, Caitlin, that just means you have to buy it. That's, <laughs> it's not a bug. It's not a bug. <laughs> it's not a bug. You just have to buy it. Don't worry, your switch isn't broken. I'm sorry, I'm Man, late. I don't know why you hate being Donatello. He's great. I don't hate being Donatello. Is anyone playing this Joker? Fight? Now we have to beat these things. Wow, I didn't know they could go diagonally. Diagonally. I think he did said you, diagonally. Did you know that diagonally is <laughs> like diagonally? No, I'm a big idiot. Noc- and nocturnally. No, I, can you? I think I need that someone to explain these to me. <laughs> well, you see, <laughs> an adverb, a gerund, adverbs <laughs> like only. Oh, we got blue boys, bloobs. All right. Oh, we got a Mikey here. We got Mikey. We got Mikey here. Everyone's playing their favorite turtle. Uh, why would you do this to me? <laughs> um, so, canonically, headcanon, which Ninja Turtle is gay and why? Uh, Michelangelo. Wow. Why? I like to think of Michelangelo as bisexual. You're totally right. Yeah. I think he's pan. I think he's it's, it's what, whatever. Yeah, yeah exactly. Whatever down. comes. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and it's him. <laughs> Hopefully. I like to think that Raphael is gay. Yeah, I think you're right. But I think he's, he's, like, he's like super angry. Closet. Very frustrated and internally processing yeah. things. Yeah. Donatello is just a sensi. 
Oh, it'd be pretty cool to be him, right? <laughs> uh, Donatello, like, essentially, like the like from the Scrubs. candle, <laughs> the candle uh, pyramid yeah, scheme. Yeah, Sensi. Yeah, Sent <laughs> Sent Sensi. <laughs> I think Leonardo is married at 20. Oh, absolutely. You guys High, school sweetheart. High school sweetheart. Hey, definitely. does somebody want to come give me some pizza? Yeah, do you guys see me dancing with this? Um... Can you break some pizza under I my can. nose? I can. I keep wow. getting hit. No one I keep, wanted the... I tried. Mike Lange just came up. Guys... Yeah, you hit the wrong button. Do you see Red me 13, dancing let's with go. This, this is coming out of your paycheck. Uh... I needed it. Wow. I did. Did you say that Leonardo would be married at 20? Yeah. yeah to his high school sweetheart. <laughs> He's going to make it work, man. Man, he like had a lot of fun in his day. And by fun in his day, he one time went to a party when he was 14 and never recovered. <laughs> and, <laughs> and is also like, he's a employee of the year accountant. <laughs> Eleven years running. Yeah, eleven years running. Nobody even touches him because he's got that Excel sheet with all the formulas in it. He's got his macros down. He knows all the tips and tricks. And he'll work Saturdays if you need him to. It's not a big deal. <laughs> he's definitely <laughs> like get away from my wife and kids. <laughs> he's like anyway. You you gotta come out to see. You gotta come out to dinner. He's like they're just doing their jobs. If you don't have anything to hide, what are you worried about? Yeah. I mean, what's the big deal? <laughs> General, General Trash Trash. Trash. of the Granite Grunts. <laughs> Ow. You dick. I gotta focus. I gotta focus. Oh, we're just pizza me, Mikey. <laughs> my pizza. I tried. Nice. What about my pizza? My pizza. Thank you. He's got a shield. He tore it off the wall. Well, that's not cool. He lost it now. I gotta focus. Well, I tried to charge into that guy, but. Oh, Charged you dick bag. Oh, oh I thank you, I, I tried, and then I got hit. I was going to get both of you. It was going to be glorious. I saw that, Matt. Um, you were robbed I the was. honor of hero. Um, no, Bradley, <laughs> though. Thank you. You're still a regular hero. You're not yet a superhero. No. I would never be. <laughs> you can be. Just a, Just a minute. Get away from him. Uh, ah, fuck. Two granite losers? Good one. Oh, yeah? How about the granite <laughs> losers? <laughs> Shut up. I'm Leo. That's his whole thing. He doesn't have good comebacks. <laughs> granite oh, grunts. Man, oh, Leonardo yeah. Leonardo in uh, Rise of the TMNT. More like granite losers. More like granite losers. Shut up. Leonardo in Rise of the TMNT is voiced by John Ralphio. Oh, um, nice. And he is more like Mikey than he is Leonardo. Oh, I should have given that to Mikey. Um, and he's always trying to, like, have his line. So he's like a one-liner guy all of a sudden? Oh my God. He's, try he's trying to be. Shit. Oh, no. Now we're two pizzas out. Donatello, it's Yo. up to you. Bummer. I can't. <gasps> I love Am I the pizza the man? Person. Yes. Oh, wow. Under the radar. It was perfect. Oh, that can't be killed. It can only be dealt with. Red 13, what's going on in your life? Not turtles. No, not turtles. Caitlin Brienne got pretty quiet when we mentioned buying the game. <laughs> <laughs> I 
How did I get hit in the air? Dumb. <sighs> my pizza. Pizza. Uh, my car. Is it, are we in a two boss level? It seems like it, because we're this is the uh, Technodrome, so I'm assuming that the final boss is at the end here, and it's probably going to be re 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 reinstated Krang. I literally don't know what that means. Pizza time? Well, that means pizza time? No, what uh, Red13 said in the chat. He said, summer is winding down, which is big It sad. means we have a little bit of time left. No, I don't understand because that's not a thing that has ever happened to me. Like, be a crybaby about it. I'm a huge crybaby about it. You can switch careers. Yeah, just be a teacher, Matt. I would love to be a teacher. You would be so good. The students would love you. Thank you. Remains to be seen. Wow. Uh, <laughs> no, I do want to be a teacher. I probably want to teach at the collegiate level. What? No, high school. Do you want to oh, like is that try Shredder? every day? Big Wah, give me your job. Me. Tom, you do not want my job. Big Wah. Chrome Dome. Oh, I thought Chrome Dome was so funny as a kid. I don't know why. It's pretty funny. Oh, ah. what? This is like Battletoads. Uh, which I beat on the first try, by the way. Uh, first time I played Battletoads, I beat it start to finish. Battletoads is a pretty easy game to play, right? Oh, yeah. It's, it's notoriously wow. easy. Yikes on Genshin. Oh no, you're playing Genshin Impact? Oh no. Why is that an oh no? Oh, because it's it's a it's a time suck. Like it's one of the it's an MMO. Uh you will put many hours into it. It's also anime um, as all get out. Yeah, it's very anime y. Thomas really likes watching Lionel play. I was right there. Clutch. I knew it was happening. I heard the sound. I was like, I know where I need to be. Those ninjas run like really derpy. Real derpy ninjas is what I'm. Real I... derpy boys. You need a Wii? Yeah, you need a Wii. Are you talking about the game that we're currently playing? Because the game we're currently playing is available on all platforms. Now, Including to play with us, you'll need a Switch because there's no. Cro it's not cross platform in terms of multiplayer play. Oh. oh, fuck me. Running. God! Damn it. Thanks for trying. This is an annoying boss fight. Kind of, yeah. It's like a lot of these punch em ups, though. It's just repetition. Mm -hmm. You don't really need to worry about figuring out the boss's like pattern because you just get hit an infinite number of times. It doesn't even matter. Just put in more quarters. There's no quarters to put in. I don't know where to put it in my <laughs> Wii. Don't put it there. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Um, I told myself that I would be more chatty this time around. You're doing not... a great job. Yeah, I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, so, would it help if I told a story? Yes. Or okay. one, of, one of these things. Tell a story or tell us what the Wikipedia nice. article says for this game. <laughs> <laughs> I have a story. I don't have a Wikipedia article. They do have a story. We well, um, really need a little bit for this? Uh. So there's this woman on a train <laughs> and um she has a baby and uh -huh. the baby's just like super ugly it's like the ugliest baby you've ever seen and this i'm already man... throwing up from this uh, picturing this baby <laughs> yeah yeah it's, that's exactly right <laughs> um stop me to talk about the game at any time um but um so this man says to the woman Oh my god, that is the ugliest baby I've ever seen. Your baby is hideous. 
Um, and so she is just so offended and she goes to the train conductor and she says, that man over there, he just super offended me. Ew. And yeah. And the train conductor says, I am so sorry. Let me get you an upgrade to first class uh, where you'll have a free, a free glass of champagne. Um, and I will also try to find some cheese for your ugly rat. <laughs> Damn, what? I ruined it. <laughs> the... <laughs> Why'd you say ugly rat? <laughs> because that's the baby. But uh, you said, would think it was just a rat. <laughs> I mean, that's, a, that's the ugliest rat I've ever seen. With one word, I ruined the joke. You were supposed to say pet rat. Pet rat. <laughs> You're ugly rat. You're ugly rat of a baby. This is just like the lava escape from Aladdin. This is from Aladdin? No, this is like Battletoads. Or Aladdin. <laughs> escape Are from you, the Cave of Wonders. You know what? I had less trouble with the Cave of Wonders. I was pretty good. I could beat that game in a single go. That is not an exaggeration. Yeah, me too. Now. Um, and I'm talking about the SNES uh, Aladdin, not the oh. Genesis. Oh. Uh, those are two completely different games. I would like to try to um, make up the Red Thirteen mystery. says that they want their two minutes back from that story. <laughs> he said that this morning <laughs> when I told that to. Him. <laughs> um. Oh, do you know the Red Thirteen? I do. He's my husband. Oh, what? Uh, We're revealing a lot of details here on the show. I didn't like that story because it was mean, Michael. <laughs> to rats. Um, I would like to make up for it. Um, by telling a joke. <laughs> okay. Oh, I'm so ready for this. All right. Um, the Red 13 loved this joke when I told it to him this morning. All right. Um, where do kings keep their armies? Uh, where do they keep them? In their sleeves. In their sleeves. <laughs> I like that one. In their sleeves. <laughs> Thanks for being my friend. <laughs> That pizza what is monster? a pizza monster? Oh, he's hugging me. I remember these from the original game, though. Do you think that this is the day, the week, that we're going to finish Half-Life 2? These antlions. These antlions are coming for us. Please tell the nacho joke. Who's Loxbags? What? Oh, hey, Lox hey Loxbags. Hey, Loxbags. Who are you? Do we know you in IRL in real life? I don't think so. Maybe not. Maybe it's just a just a person who came to the stream and welcome if you are. And if you're not, what's also the, welcome. What's the nacho? Oh, like nacho cheese? Nacho problem. Nacho Grand, joke. Grand Theft Auto? Grand <laughs> Theft Nacho. Good one. I knocked that pizza man right out from the air. So oh, it's crazy. Lauren Cole. Whoa! What? Cole bags. That that should have been our first clue. The bags part. <laughs> where's your Lost Where's your bag. friend? Schmear bags. Schmear <laughs> goal. Locks and Schmear is a pretty dope like buddy <laughs> cup duo though. <laughs> That is a great, yeah. Detective Locks and Detective Schmier. Oh, Mikey, what the fuck, Ming? <laughs> Sorry. What did Mikey do? Took that pizza off for his lonesome. Yeah. Oh, you can team up. I just threw Michelangelo across the screen. Yeah, oh it took God. me a... All this greatness happening. You'll never believe who Nervous Hair is. <laughs> no clue. You'll know him. Nervous hair, say something only to identify. <laughs> okay, we're on the um, we're on the roof. It is a rainy day. There's two clones, and I have a gun and one <laughs> bullet. Tell me something only you would know. Uh. <laughs> <I'm guessing. laughs> I'm way too focused on the game now because there's so many more enemies. Yeah, gotta... so many. Do you guys want me to tell you that story again? Yeah, could you start from the very beginning? <laughs> <laughs> so there's this woman on a train. <laughs> oh, man. I've seen this movie. I'm enthralled. And the train crashes and everybody dies. Except, except for her. 
woman and she's unharmed completely. Oh, I know what this is. It was actually that the mother was the doctor. No, no the mother was Bruce Willis the whole time. <laughs> Did I tell you what my uncle said about that, about that movie, what the twist of yes. Unbreakable? <laughs> yes. What, what, no. what? Yeah, I'm like, oh yeah, that Samuel L. Jackson was the bad guy. And he's like, no, Michael, they were superheroes the whole time. They were superheroes? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, unironically, that was his take on the movie as a that twist ending. That that is some kind of twist ending. That was revealed. I remember. Yeah, that's, what was it? Um, what was the name of the Shyamalan movie about the elevator that people were stuck Hel on? Elevator. Elevator. Yeah, it should have been called Elevator. But what was it actually called? Uh, Devil. Devil. That's right. I remember being in the movie theater when. That, I was with you. Uh, it was Scott Pilgrim. I didn't yeah, it see was it. Scott Pilgrim. So it was shown in the theater as like a preview, and the the. Theater laughed. People laughed. Well, as soon as his name pops yes. up. Yes. That preview, it felt like everyone was like, okay, I'm kind of, I could, I could get on board with this. And then they showed his name. Audible laughter. Audible like, laughter from the audience. Imagine being M. Night Shyamalan and coming out of the gate so hard. Oh my God, I'm all <laughs> Six Sense, Unbreakable, Slash. Signs. Like you got Mel Gibson on your movie. You got, you got, uh. Chris Willis. Joaquin twice? Phoenix, Bruce Willis Sam twice, Jackson. J. J. O. Quinn Phoenix, and then, <laughs> and then, you make like Lady in the Water. Yeah, you make a lot of movies. Oh, so Lady in the Water I mean, you get Adrian no Brody for The Village, ever. and The Village is like fine. You know, it's, it's fine. fine. It's like, oh yeah, I also have seen The Twilight Zone. But you're like, oh, I've also read the book Out of Time when I was a kid. <laughs> But then it's, you, it was more like he was out of money, which is why he made it. And then you make Lady in like the Water, and you make yourself the that. most important character in the movie. Uh, that that just like I I don't mind that he does like he inserts himself into the movie. But it's that like how was, Stephen King made himself the most important character in the Dark Knight trilogy <laughs> or the Dark Tower trilogy. <laughs> he did the Dark Knight. <laughs> <laughs> um. Oh no. You're getting spun oh, round. Jeez, 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 jeez. What are some, what are the, you know, like the, the hat, like Mark Wahlberg was in The Happening. Why do people keep getting in his movies? They're like, this time it'll be different. I think the real reason is that fat bank. And then, did you see Old? No. Are you talking about the beach? The, beach? the beach that made people old? The beach that made people old. <laughs> oh, so bad. I like how the premise is is immediately represent like you could tell what it is. Oh, it's an elevator that goes to hell. It's elevator. Elevator. Oh, it's the beach that it's the it makes people old. <laughs> Fifty one KOs. Uh, Zen award. I won the most time <laughs> meditating. How do you meditate? I don't understand how, but I did spend the most time doing it. Ooh, Shredder so sounds weird. There's a part in the movie Old where this woman who has like some kind of brittle bones disease stopped. She doesn't have her medication. Oh, her, uh, bu uh, uh, bird. She's like crawling Avian through a tunnel syndrome. and her bones keep breaking and then healing like almost instantly. Oh, there it is. Crank. So she ends up being this like really horrible looking like crazy arm bone break bone creature. Oh, jeez. Immediately kicked in the face. You can like, oh my gosh, I'm like doing crazy moves over here. Yeah, we're doing sick combos over Look here. At this. Wait, Look hold on, let me meditate. How do I meditate? Oh, that's how I meditate. I hit the L1 button. You been doing that a lot? I I guess was have I been doing that a lot? These spider bots are really toasting my bread. I like this move, the double jump and then the smack between your legs. Yeah, you know, the thing about it is it's pretty cool to be D Donatello. I wouldn't know, as I'm not Every him. turtle can do that move. No. Yeah, double jump and then pop, pop, pop. Oh, no. you got a yeah. way better one. You could have it. Hold, press X holding a backflip to perform. What? So for all the uh, teachers in the chat, what was the thing that you liked doing most this summer? This. 
<laughs> just playing turtles with me. I mean, that's. I, I mean, I enjoy it too, but God, you need to have a better summer. <laughs> oh, we've been doing a lot of camping and stuff. I've been a part of that, slightly. You did, you came to one of the trips? Yeah, it was really fun. I would like to do it again. It's really hard to get time off. Uh, this week, exclusively, I've been in eight and a half hour classes every single day from 11.30 to eight. Well, um, that seems like your choice. It's not my, no, it's not my choice. To be in classes? No, it's not my choice. Oh wait, what do you mean? It's work, it's for work. I don't have oh, a choice here. you're like taking classes. No, not you're a choice. In classes? Yeah. Oh, like, like you're taking classes for your job? Yes. Oh, I see, I see, I see. It's absolutely not my choice. That's better than working. It is working. <laughs> yeah, but like you're taking a class? Yeah, but it's directly related to No, I know, work. I know, but like you don't have to work. You're just in class. It's it's worse in some aspects. For is that. it like being in a PD? What do you have to do? Uh, there's exercises, there's listening. It's it's Salesforce training uh, for programmers. Salesforce. So we're gonna be doing a lot of stuff in Salesforce. So I have to learn how to program. The problem is, is like it was, it was um, billed as like, oh, you have you're like programmers. Like this is for people who already program, but it's how to program on top of Salesforce. But in reality, it's like, hey, you've probably programmed sometime in your life. We're gonna. It's very remedial, and it's like, uh. And yeah. in the entire eight and a half hour time, there is one and a half hours of break. That is it. Two 15 minute breaks in one hour. I am not capable of that sort of rapid, uh, what do I wanna say, um, focus. Did you see how I saved Mikey? I saw it, it was amazing. That was, yeah, just, Matt, why can't, why couldn't you save me like that before? Because. Donatello was already doing it. I was just joking, Matt. You're you're great. Thanks. You're really good at <laughs> video games, Matt. Any day my children left me unbothered till 8 a.m. So not very many. I'm I'm taking it. Um, today I walked in Thomas's bedroom at nine and I opened the door with my son, uh, who whose name is, is, starts with the letter T. <laughs> sure, um, <laughs> sure. This isn't being recorded. You're good. Ah, <laughs> no, I walk into his room at 9 a.m. And, like, I open the door like I would normally, and it just it hits something really hard. And so I just push it open, and it is a seven-year-old child <laughs> curled up into a ball at his door. He fell oh, asleep. Geez. Yeah, what's up door... kids sleeping on their floors? Oh, yeah, I like so, sleeping like, on the floor. So I think like he woke up and made it to the doorway before he's like, nah, I'm still really tired. And just gonna just lay down here by the door. Right at the door. Our kids would do that when like, they'd be like coming out of the room at night trying to not go to bed. And then I think they would just be so tired they'd fall asleep while they were trying to do it again. <laughs> <laughs> Pizza men. How are they coming out of the concrete yeah, ground? They here? They're very s squishy. Pizza's kind of gross, right? Yeah. But like in a delicious way. Yeah, like in a completely gross and disgusting. Okay, yeah. here's some, here's some, um... Like a Dodero special. <laughs> uh, I love, uh, my I love the Dodero special. That's some good eats. Yeah. Did I ever make you one? No, but I've had the the, the concept before. I've had the ingredients right. separately. <laughs> I've had all, all three ingredients. Oh my god. It's all you. Get away from me. No, it's fine. I'm trying. Oh, oh yeah. You're a superhero, Matt. Um, what was I going to say? It was, it was the Dodero special. Oh, for the the people who live in the place that we live, or have spent time in the place where they live, um, what do you think about the restaurant known as Arnie's? Not good. No. I could leave it. No, I think like, it's really gross. Yeah, not I think gross. it's I think it's a step above Papa John's. Yeah, anything. Well, yeah, I would not, take I like, anywhere to, except for Papa. Not hard to do that, but yes. 
if somebody offered it to me, I'd be like, oh, great, pizza. Sure, yes. Cool. No, I would say no. Uh, but if it, it was, like, it, free at lunch, no way. Yep. Oops, sorry, I took the pizza. That's fine. But, yeah, if it was um, my choice, it would be among the last. Okay, so, given that, what does one think about the restaurant known as Pizza King? No, trash. Trash, indeed. Yeah. But, but they do deliver your drinks on a little train. Mm, it's still yeah, not good. I would, I would pick it um, one step above Arnie's. I, would, I disagree. I would place it one above Arnie's. It's one below Arnie's. It's 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 almost worth not talking about, but it is not good. Here's the thing. I've never been in a clean Pizza King. No way. That's part of the charm. You get a little, little bit of gross nasty. It's just the same as Arnie's. I mean, it's the same type of pizza. It's the same quality of pizza, which is bad. Oh, man. We all activated. We just all remembered that we had it. So... So here's the follow-up, and this is going to be the controversial one, because I think I'm alone here. I'll just say my opinion. I think Mary Lou's is gross. Yeah, it's right. fine. I, I I like it better than Coral Lou's. It's also just Mary Lou. So take who your apostrophe. Mary, who calls it Mary Lou? Don't. Take your apostrophe yes back. Who calls it Mary Lou? It's the name of the restaurant. I know, but do you call it Mary Lou? Yeah, because I'm not a hillbilly. You do, when people yeah, bring in donuts, do they say I brought Mary Lou donuts, or did they say I brought Mary Lou's donuts? I say I brought Mary Lou donuts. <laughs> I would say I brought Mary Lou donuts, but oh, did you um, go to Mary Lou's? Did you go there after you went to Aldi's? <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's where you go. I call it Aldi's is too. That's not Damn it. correct. It might not be correct, but it is proper. No, it's not. <laughs> okay, well, I'm not going to be able to revive anybody because this, these pair of legs isn't, are not going to allow me. No oh, yeah. I got you, Tim. Mikey got re came back to life and revived me. That's perfect. Uh, no. But to be fair, your donut opinions don't mean shit. Okay, uh, why? So Matt, because your Matt, ideal donut is a plain cake donut. Yeah, that's the best donut, bar none. A plain cake donut's a great donut. Fine, it's that. fine, but you you can't judge a place that makes other donuts like this is trash donut. It's not a plain cake. Uh, that's not why I was saying it. I've had a plain cake from them before. Yeah, but that's like I, your ideal donut. It is my why ideal donut. I, why don't you like Mary Lou's? I uh, just don't think that donuts are very good. Where would you go? I don't really go anywhere. Duncan. I mean that those are no I know are bad, but those are like I grew it's like I like Little Caesars. Yeah. I grew up mm -hmm. with it. Well Little Caesars is actually decent pizza. I, I don't disagree. I just like it's one of those hot and ready. For five bucks. It's hard to beat. Agree. Cake donuts are trash. No. No, they're not trash, but they are second fiddle. And I will say there is one thing that separates it which would not apply to you in particular. I take that donut, I rip it, I dip it right in some coffee. That's coffee time. Is there a... So, like, there are a couple other donut places in town. So, like, there's Coralie Donut There's Flour shop. Mill. Flour Mill? That's, like, way out there, though. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's... I mean, people get it. But isn't that, like, in Delphi or... Somewhere like Ish. that? Ish. Yeah. Oh, man. Thank you. I almost lost it because that... There's Coraloo Donut Shop. People like that more. I don't like Coraloo's. I, I think, think they're. Coraloo. I think their donuts, just... their donuts are shiny. Why their are donuts they shiny? Are, is it I like think... glaze shiny? Yes. Everything looks like it's covered in like a seal of plastic. I think Coraloo's are objectively Gross. better than Mary Lou, but they are over twice as expensive, and I don't think they're more than twice as good. The reason I like the cake donut, which is probably why I wouldn't like this one. Oh man, he did like the Sigma thing from like Mega Man X. Um, is I don't really like overly sweet no. things. Throw that gift card away. Buy the pizza and throw it in the trash. Fifty dollar. How did you get that? Probably from students. Yeah, th you could you could probably exchange that for something better, like one it. like one an American dollar. <laughs> oh man, we got like some song in the background right now. Yeah, I'm digging that. Thank you. Oh, 
Lame. Okay, oh. I will get back to Shredders. There's one true Shredder, and he's right there. They, like, phase a little bit to know which ones are the fake ones. Backs on Carlou versus Mary Lou. Martin oh. Lou. I've not had Corlew, so I can't I can't speak on it. It's on ah! Veterans Memorial. Sorry. Where? They've got, they've Where got, on Veterans Memorial? By that gas station uh, at 18th or 9th or at 18th Street. Oh, like over by the CVS? By that fancy gas station. The one on yeah, CVS. Oh, that's that's pretty close. Yeah. There's a Duncan over there. Um it's it's in the like the the strip mall by the gas station. Okay, yeah. You guys like the 9th Street gas station? The 9th Street gas station. It's um, 9th and Fair. Oh, right? God. <laughs> yeah, I do stop there usually when we have shows. I mean, I go there for gas. Sometimes. I like I like grab some pop like on the way to a show. I like to experience the variety of people. You and every other drug addict in the city. Did Lionel say that he likes it? Or the Red 13? It literally reminds me of home is what he said. <laughs> Not that being a drug addict is bad. No, it's a, it, there's a lot of complicated things that go along with that. Stop it, Shredder. Let me help my friend. Break that pizza pizza under my nose. Oh, no. I got to get Mikey. Oh, come on. That was so close. Oh, no. I was like one second away from revival. It's okay. The Shredder fight is so hard. It's a lot harder than the fights we've had so far. You gotta like jump in and jump away. Jump. Oh, I timed it wrong. We're like total focus now. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's not done. You know, he's not done. He's going to get all the Chaos Emeralds. <laughs> <laughs> he was a distraction. The Chow Emeralds. From what? <gasps> the Statue of Liberty is coming to life? It is. It's becoming Krang. <laughs> Big body Krang. Oh, man. I remember Dimension X Hangout. You've the Neutrinos. That's what they're called, the Neutrinos. I couldn't remember. It's all coming back. All coming back to me. Oh. This is probably the last one. Yeah, probably. Sonic Adventure 2. Wrath of the Lady. This game sold over 1 million copies already, so you can pretty much guarantee there will be some DLC and or a sequel. Yeah. Oh, the music. Statue of Tyranny. Oh, man. Liberty no more. Yeah. Who are you talking to? She can't hear you. She's also an inanimate statue. Can you fall off the edge? I don't know. No. I did it just in time to save you and <laughs> to die. <laughs> Give it up. was Thanks, worth it. Man. We did it as brothers. <laughs> as brother! How uh, you... Tull, I think, Tull, I think you can hit the statue of Lizardy from here. Lizardy? Um, from Rugrats? Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I can. Sheep guts. Oh. Sheep guts. <laughs> Ha! <laughs> 
Help! My pizza! Dangerously low pizza levels. Oh, I could hit it. You can. Should have listened to the old mic. I tried, though. A statue of Lizard Day. Don't give up. Thanks, Leo. Oof. Big oof. Now I'm in need of pizza. Oh. Oh no, the bomb's right there. What? Uh, Come on. It's close. Oh, thank you. Oh Plan yeah. That seemed, that fight seemed easier than um than Shredder. Shredder. Mm -hmm. That's because it was Krang. Krang! It was Krang the whole time. The Statue of Tyranny. Oh no, another bot she's back? Is she? Is Shredder a girl? Well, I don't know. We don't know, right? Shredder? Yeah, we don't know. I've seen the movie. But now he's got green science all over him. Oh, yeah, he sure does have green science. Super Shredder! Painful revenge. T-U-R-T-L-E power. Oh, man. That was quick. He got my number. Yeah, real quick, like. We can't even hit him. He doesn't do anything. We're supposed to use the power of Brotherhood to beat him, remember? I saw the movie. Oh, he'll have a, some vulnerability frames. Well, that, that really took us all out, didn't it? I think we just avoid him until yep, he, yep. he fucks up, is the goal. Thank you. Slow boss fight. Very. It's like when you recover from the fire, there's more fire. Oh, shit. Fake out. I need my pizza. Oh no, I'm good. Chill out. Matt, do you remember when you and Tim and Mary came and rescued me from that Roach Motel? Yep. Yeah, I too I totally do. Those That's the one we got the aforementioned IKEA couch. That's right. We were talking about yep. that earlier. That's that same couch. Uh, whatever happened to that couch? Do you still have it? I, I threw it away. Let, no, because Tim broke it in a drunken rage. <laughs> <laughs> I sat down. Yeah, in a drunken rage. <laughs> oh, no, take the hits. I think you could kill those purple guys. Can you? Oh, yeah, you can. I will. Uh, Woo! He's getting more powerful. I can't 
save you, brother. Brother! Brother. Oh, brother. brother. <laughs> <laughs> get him. No, just get Shredder. You get Shredder. I can't get Shredder. I was, I was in pizza mode. <laughs> now I'm in pizza mode. Yes. No pizza mode. Shit. Oh no! Ah. <laughs> uh, right, we got lives. We got lives. This is my last one, I think. Get him. That's it. You're dead. Impossible. Oh, he's turning into a lot of green science. You gotta watch that with the green, green science. science. Sometimes it goes a little bit sideways. Green, green science is so volatile. It goes a little side, sideways sometimes. You gotta watch out. Only a little bit of green science. Once you go to a lot of green science, I'll tell you what. Wrecking Ball Award. Total chaos. Seven objects. Ball. Achievement unlocked. Vernon's news. We beat it. Oh, views. That makes sense. Flighty Liberty has been restored to her former glory. Gleaming I, glory. Vernon Fenwick, who has not at all scared, can confirm that Shredder has been defeated by the city's protectors, the Green Guardians of Good, the Web Warriors. Web them's... Warriors. Oh, because I get the Punk Frogs. <laughs> the Punk Frogs. Oh, come on. I hope you get to play as the Punk Frogs. That would be great DLC. Yeah. I want to play the Punk Frogs DLC. The ah, ninja is always ready. Can do I like how their rough. shell is a spill six pack. Yeah, they're all ready to go. After pizza and sushi, I guess. Pizza and sushi. I like how Casey is eating pizza through his mask. <laughs> <laughs> That was fun. Good game. Party dude. Party dude. Wow. Thanks for playing yeah. the whole way, Grunart Mall. All the way through it. Oh, uh, so fun. Um, Jean-Francois Majol. I believe next week we are going to play. I think this is a French developer, if you haven't seen. Um, I believe next week we're going to be playing a DOS. Spooky castle. A DOS game. That's right. Actually, what look game? at my shirt. MS DOS. My favorite metal band. That's what it, game is the DOS game? Uh, it's called Spooky Castle. Spooky Castle. I've never played it. It's amazing. It is definitely um, a Tim childhood classic, which means <laughs> it is going to be really fun. A whole thing. It's gonna be really fun. We're gonna be the first people on YouTube to ever play it. Probably. We are going to get a lot of... No, uh, it's on YouTube for sure. A lot of Russian friends will come into Maybe the, the first chat on and talk to us about how their dangerous? childhood was also... Unplayable. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, that's how this whole channel started, was, was with a completely unplayable game. I'm sure this game was very heavily featured at the uh, the, the Menards in a, a discount nope, bin. Nope, nope, nope. It was on... I think it was on one of those, like, 300 game discs. <laughs> Even better. You guys should play Chips Challenge. I love Chips Challenge. Um, it's they, not obscure enough. They re-released Chips Challenge for Steam like five years back. Really good. Yeah, I don't know what that is. It's a puzzle game. Hello, I am the creator of Bangers. Welcome to Flavor Time. So the guy 
who was working on the revival project for Steam, did comment on our video he did. on YouTube he did. because we were like the only people to have videos on Vangers up on YouTube. That's right. I just want to say that game is not unplayable. It's fairly unplayable. It just really helps to have had the the manual when you play it. It's fairly unplayable. I, I like how, one, the final episode is a train wreck uh, because my computer only so recorded funny. like every other frame of that um, and I stretched the audio. <laughs> and also, that final episode was the first time I finished the first <laughs> race. So it was like, Tim beat the entire game in the entire time that and I beat the, beat first, the race, first world, which was not planned. It just did happen. It, it like was that, like perfect, which was crazy. Yep. Hello, I am creator of Vangers. Welcome to Flavortown. Douglas Rosen. Chuck Smith. Oh. I forgot that they re-recorded the start of this. What? It's not the original cartoon. It's the same song, but they re-recorded it with new people. I didn't know that. Yeah. Makes sense. And they're green. Now I have to figure out what game I'm going to pick next after we play Spooky Castle. Spooky Castle is a great game. I'm I'm reserving judgment <laughs> until um, we play Spooky. Did did uh, Grunart Malka leave the chat? Probably. I'm still Probably here. Back. Oh, he's still there. Back to playing Civ. Civ 6. I have been playing Civ 6, but no, I'm still here. We did beat... Civ 6 on this channel. We beat it completely. <laughs> beat the whole game. We beat the whole we game. We played it with every... We didn't restart three times and get <laughs> trounced three times. Whoa, whoa. Ghostface Killer? Ghostface Killer. That was probably the Shredder one. We ain't come to lose, came to lose, from the Wu-Tang Clan. It's probably the song during the Shredder fight. Well, that was pretty sick. It was. Kid Katana Records, good name. Kid Charlemagne. <laughs> sure, Kid Charlemagne. You're Kid Charlemagne. <laughs> that's a that's a good show that needs to come back for a rewatch. Uh, we we should just make this. We should forget all the fucking video game stuff. Let's just watch Malcolm in we the Middle. We should just watch and it be a reaction show. We should be like MST3K. But MST3K is that what you just? said? <laughs> MST3K. Yeah, but it's only you said MST3K. <laughs> that could be our name. We could be MST3K. Who <laughs> boy. But I was thinking more MST3K. Yeah, I just I couldn't I just I couldn't get into it. MST3K? Yeah. Oh, I love MST3K. I know a lot of people do. Oh, it's great. I just I what I why do I want to watch a whole movie? Well, I don't watch the movie. Were all the turts the old voice are? I don't know that. I don't know. I it would not surprise me if they were if the people were still alive if they were able to grab them. To be fair, a big portion of my experience fair. with with uh, Mystery Science Theater 2000 was uh, a friend of ours forcing us to watch <laughs> one particular episode over and over and over. Yeah, I mean uh, that would be pretty bad. While we were trying to enjoy a bachelor party in Portland. Yeah. I, I think that that would be a little rough. Um, was, but I, I do bad. I do enjoy the show. And he'd be like, uh, Grunel Monk was there. He'd be like, why aren't you watching it? <laughs> well, it yes, it what? exactly was. <laughs> 100%. That's who it was. He, it was. Uh, I learned this from, uh, here's a little bit of trivia for you. Localization says e-figs. Yes, nervous hair. That is correct. Efigs is English, French, uh, Italian, German, and Spanish, which is the standard that you translate your games to if you want it to be international. Yeah, yeah. They call it efigs. efigs. So there's some useless info if you're ever on Jeopardy and they say, what's efigs? Um, I was in the bathroom. What bachelor party was this? The one you, you came were at to it. in Portland. In Portland. Uh -huh. I, was I, how, uh, I was talking about how a friend of ours made us watch a certain episode of Mystery Science Theater 2000 over and over and over. I don't remember that. I remember the being it in Portland. The was, yeah, you were on your phone and he was like, Mike, why aren't you watching it? Oh, I kind of remember that. 
that yeah. person from the bachelor party has been in this stream before when we were playing among us he was the person that was disguised as nervous hair oh yeah <laughs> who came in and fucked fucked with us yeah that was really funny oh now i, I was wondering where casey jones casey was. jones now we got casey jones <laughs> do you think we would have unlocked him even if we had skipped the credits yeah, but it's like a wind down. I, we never skip. You can fast scroll through the credits. We we always talk through the no, credits. I know. I was just I was just wondering. Yeah, we would have unlocked them if we would have. Because that would be really horrible. We do it as a, as a wind down, as a job well done. A I little always, time to just. I can't stand the credits. Gab, man. credits of a game. I'm like fuck this. Just gab. Let's skip it. Just a little bit of gab work. Um, thanks everybody. For uh, coming through for the Turtles Shredder's Revenge. It was really fun. Yep. Thanks for the people who played with us. Thanks for the people who wanted to but couldn't figure out that you could buy it on Switch. And the people who um, watched the whole time. Yeah. Those are the real heroes. Watched and commented and talked the whole time. Those are the <laughs> real heroes. And we never talk about them enough. But it's really the fans. It's the fans. We it's the it. fans that make it. it for the fans. Um, it's I am. For the fans. Am I your number one fan? I don't think so. I actually. think our number one fan is not here tonight, actually. Who is it? Then, then I can think you say that? Then... <laughs> top 10. Top Definitely 10, top, 10. top 10. I was going to say, Veresi Jane Veresi has Jane's been is, is very consistent. <laughs> yeah, those are fighting words. If Caitlin Bryant's still in the chat, she'd be like, me. Oh, since Caitlin's <clears throat> been around, like she's been in Surpassed. a lot. Even from the bar. Surpassing. We had we had watching from the bar, which is huge. That's that's uh that's extra that's points. That's true. That's true. Watching from out. I watching. don't know if we ever watched the intro of the video. This video is yeah, sick. Yeah, I, I watched it like a bunch of times. Did you? The, the yeah. TMNT like over and over and over when you were setting up the stream. I oh well, I didn't watch it because I was setting up the stream. Yeah, but this is, is it cool. The, the game opening. Yeah, the game opening. Oh, it's so good. It looks awesome. I recorded it and sent it to my mom and my brother. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah, that rules. All right. Well, thanks, everybody. Um, I'm going to go punch myself in the face. Oh. <laughs> I hope everybody else has a great I'm night. I'm going to go home. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. I'm also going to punch Matt in the face. <laughs> Please, just line up. Um, we'll see hey, everybody heroes, next. We find along the way heroes apostrophe S. <laughs> heroes is. <laughs> Oh no! Thanks, On the everybody. Next time. We'll see you next time. On the next time. Bye! Bye! <laughs>